Hey everybody, uh, May 26, 2010, Happy Dog Farm. Uh, two things on the agenda today, Killing with Kindness and Surround, otherwise known as Kaylin Clay. Killing with Kindness. Uh, I feel kind of stupid about this, but you know, I say, keep telling you, I'm learning. Um, when I planted my trees, I staked them with uh, small stakes to keep them from getting buffeted by the wind. And I tied them with nylon strapping which is made for trees uh, it's incredibly strong it's light it doesn't rot and it's a problem I got trees that are growing vigorously and I got trees that weren't doing so well and I went and I'm rummaging around and I take off the volgards and what do I see but the trees have expanded into the nylon webbing and are being choked they are literally being throttled by the webbing. And here I'm going to share with you in all honesty what happened. You can see it cut right into the cambrium. It was not good for the tree. So I took it off and now we hope. I'm thinking about wrapping some of uh, my nice cheesy, um, well, this stuff, which is light just to kind of keep it um, from drying out too fast until it uh, heals, if it heals. So I did a bad and that's why the tree didn't do too well. Now you notice this tree is white. It's not dead yet. It's not a ghost. That is um, neat stuff. Thank you Michael Phillips if you ever see this. Uh, called Surround and it's kaolin clay. It's, I dispense it through my backpack sprayer. It really works well. And the theory being, which seems to be proving pretty well, is that bugs land on it, they don't like it, they either go nuts trying to clean themselves off, or they just leave. So what you've got is a very benign edible clay that's working as a really good pest repellent. There's good times to spray it, bad times to spray it, yes it washes off with water, um, so you have to redo it after it rains, which means you may want to put it in with your fungicide or something else. But it's really nice stuff, and I like it. Um, and I'm grateful to the folks who told me about it. There in the background, and I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit, is one of the trees, I'm in macro mode, so I hope this works, that I'm trying to train to the wire. Some train better than others. They just go right past the wire. It's sort of irritating. But I wanted to share my faux pas with you, my poor trees, uh, I'd say half a dozen had this happen and the other half were starting to get into that zone of really getting hurt. And I just encourage you if you, uh, the, the, really, the thing that did it was the Volgard. I totally forgot about the nylon strap because it was hidden underneath the Volgard. So I've gone around now and pulled all of it off and inspected every tree. That's it. Uh, have a great day. Talk to you later.